You say you're rolling? Yeah. All right. Welcome to my 1968 W108 SEL. We've just gotten this baby running after sitting for over 10 years, and you can't believe how sweet this engine sounds. Now, this is a six cylinder overhead cam fuel injected engine, but this car is very unique. And look right down here. That's what makes it so unique. Yes. It is an S-Class with a four-speed manual transmission. And this is one of the smoothest four-speeds I have ever driven. So we're going to take you out on the road, and I'm going to prove it to you. Look at that. No chatter in the clutch. Clutch comes out smooth. And remember now, you're looking at, you're listening to this thing with the tunnel cover off, and most transmissions would be whining and groaning right now in first gear. Notice also, I'm in, still in first gear and going almost 15 miles an hour. And that's not normal with a stock 108. And I'm going to explain a little bit more about that later. So we're going to pull out into some traffic here and we'll run this thing up. Not too hard, but watch this transmission shift. Notice the smoothness. Now this is only a six cylinder, but it's no slouch in terms of power. And this is one really quiet transmission with that tunnel cover off. Listen to the downshift. Very minimal transmission bearing or gear whine. Now we're going to shift down in a second. Look at how smooth that is. This could be one of the best running six cylinders I've driven in a long, long time. Now notice this, I'm cruising along at 50 miles an hour and this engine is hardly even revving up. And if any of you have ever driven a 108, this is not normal. And the reason is, this car has a 4.5 V8 rear end installed. So I can put it in third and actually cruise around at 40 miles an hour. Now I've had some people ask me, Kent, isn't that going to foul up your acceleration coming out of low gear? Well, you have to remember most of these old Mercedes Benzes, they're geared so low in the transmission that you only go about 20 feet before you shift from first to second. And actually putting a lower ratio rear end makes the car much more enjoyable to drive not only in terms of how it takes off, but also how it feels when you get out on the freeway. You don't have that high revving engine sound. Now watch, I'm not going to floor it here, but watch the acceleration. And watch when I have to shift, see that? Now it's not gonna burn rubber, but I'm not suffering from any initial acceleration by having that lower ratio rear end installed. Anybody want to find a nicer shifting four speed old Benz? I'll take you on anytime. And you can imagine when we get this tunnel cover on, the insulation in, and the carpeting on, this is going to be a very quiet four speed. Once again, it just shifts so smoothly, it ha hardly has any notchiness. I don't have to hardly hesitate when I shift. We pulled this transmission out of an old 111 coupe. I had no idea the condition that it was in. But let me tell you, this is one nice tranny. And I also had to replace, look at the monkey motion, all those shift rods down there. There's probably like 20 bushings that we had to replace. The transmission was not even shifting into gear when I acquired the car. So replacing all the rubber bushings, having a good tight transmission, really made a huge difference in this car. Now you can just listen to that baby purr. Okay, watch again as I accelerate out of first. You tell me if I'm suffering here. Up 
Okay. Let's, uh, no need to be gentle with this baby. This is really a fun old Mercedes to drive. I hope you enjoyed this little short road trip and we got to get back to work here. <laughs>